Okay, hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to Smooth Gaming on YouTube, and today I am very much excited to be playing episode four. Episode four, right? Episode four, around every corner of The Walking Dead. I really, okay, so episode two made me absolutely sick, right? So, um, but episode three was sad, and episode four, I have no idea what, like, what to expect, so, uh, you know, let's just jump right into it. Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now. What the fuck's the problem? You're not coming with us. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't know Her. much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Uh -huh. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay, and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? You jerk. It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here, and you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I do... That's right. Fuck. I don't know. I doubt we're going to be happy when we find out. I forgot about that. Chrissy, hey, hey, welcome to the stream. Glad you can make it. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Sam, hey, glad you can make the stream. Oh, totally fine. As long as you know what is going on, everything's fine. Like, you've seen this game before, I mean. How is everybody doing tonight? The Walking Dead. I am excited. And scared at the same time. Very, very excited and scared. I don't, I don't like Krista. She bugs me. Like something about her just is bugging the absolute heck out of me. And I don't know why. What up with this? Uh, episode four, around every corner. Doing okay, how are you? I am fine, tired, but. Dude, you, you, you have a shovel? I, I mean, I personally would prefer a gun in this kind of situation. Not a, not a shovel. Let me know if you guys can hear everything okay. Can't I just hold it? Just for a little while? We're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. Yeah, that's right. How's O'Neill? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up There's ahead. There's five, I think. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Thank you. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Got a point. Someone's up there. Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who is this? Is that you up in oh, the no. bell tower? 
Um, I have it set to the lowest setting, so I can talk to you guys basically in real time. Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Mm-hmm. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? <laughs> it tolls for thee. Uh-oh. How did you guys not hear them? They make a ton of noise. Everybody, run! Don't have to yell. Thank you. I am very excited for it. Oh, oh, dude's good with the shovel, apparently. Like, oh. No. Kitty. A little too close, don't you think? Ben. No, Ben, help her! Dude. <gasps> Side. Clean him up. How did it get Kimmy, open? That door I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Um. I mean, I know he is a kid, but he has to be like 17 or 18. I mean, you know. I She's, she's always trying to fight her. This... I do not like her. It's right, I have like a... Oh, we will be able to bust through that. There's Ben. Ben. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just... Froze up. You didn't freeze up. Hasn't you that ran. ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. Ho ho ho. Ho. Burn. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. Hey, brave. Um, do, 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 do. let me talk to you. Do you have anything? Do you have any ideas? So I'm stumped. Are you holding up? But uh. how's it coming? Find a way in yet? Doors locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. I'm Think not I'm either. I don't. Around. Can I, can I climb? Maybe Clem can get close at the, the, the little door. What little door? I don't see a little door. Maybe like up there maybe, but let me go talk to her. Maybe. The 
The pet door? It's the dog house. Oh, I didn't see the pet door. Thank you. Oh, she's being the lookout. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. They used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. <laughs> I don't think this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. This time, we're the cookies. Aww. Just stay away from the gate. And we'll see about getting us inside the house. God, that was terrible. This time, we're the cookies. What? What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. <laughs> I tried it already. That's locked, too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right, so where's the dog? What? Yeah, let me see if I can break it. Dude, you're not gonna break that thing open. All you're gonna do is make a lot of noise we don't need. Wait, hold on. Am I gonna be like digging up? I have a feeling the dog is over here. Looks like something was buried here. Dog collar in there? Empty. Eh, that would have been too easy. Oh. I'm gonna have to dig up a grave and get the collar off of. The shovel is never not useful. I am gonna. I am gonna be so upset if it turns out that I have to dig up this grave. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Uh, Clementine, no, get away. It's buried down there. Considering everybody's wearing, um... Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Chris and Omi, okay? Ever but I want to... Just do what I say, okay? Well, you don't need to see it. Oh, God, the smell. Which is exactly... Why? I can't get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? Wait a minute. He's all... Is she pregnant? And that's why she's... She's sick? Here goes nothing. Here we go. Yes! God damn! I bet she's pregnant. You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Uh, guys. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. <clears throat> it's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. Clem, are you okay? Say something. You just went right in there. No, it's not, but... Ta-da! <laughs> good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you, you did. did. You good did. Good job. Good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Um, no, like, even if she is, it is no, no excuse.
but I was just saying Looks like okay it would be here. why everybody in. it would be the reason why she like throws up a lot and why he was like are you sure you're okay you know that just it just makes sense it's a big place Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. Feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. Hmm. But what I want to know is why... How did so, he get an open wound on his leg? About the radio? Like... Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. For Great. a day. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. Mm -hmm. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. Exactly. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. You think? At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. I'm with Kenny on that. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head to the river together. Deal? Mm-hmm. Suit yourselves, but I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. But where are we going after that? Like, nobody has come up with a good plan on where we're going. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, why I, understand? Why am I going alone? Okay. Why am I going alone? I, 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 mm. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. Who voiced her? Clem, who who voiced her? She sounds... Sounds like really familiar. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. No, I was gonna take it to like, you know, wrap up somebody up, you know. Uh, I'm good. Good. Um, I get I get good and bad mixed up in sign language. So. Okay, he said check all the doors. Why am I going alone? That's what I want to know. Wait, hold on. Me and you. Kenny said me and you will check upstairs. Get some of those drinks even at the end with the royal drinks. <laughs> oh, it's a closet. All clear in here. Oh, I didn't even see this door over here. Why would you, like, not hold on to that gun the entire time? Nothing hiding in here. Just one more to check. Okay. This is a big house. What happened to everybody? It's like, you know that there's gotta be some survivors right like you know like more than us you know so like what happened to like where's everybody going Jesus. what what happened it's nothing just uh, nothing <laughs> well place ain't got much we should be okay here for a while at least until it quiets down outside. Good. 
Thanks. Is he okay? Did his bone like stick yeah, out or no. something? But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Don't uh, sure it would. Just some whiskey. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find it my broke. parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Uh-oh. What? 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 Shush. Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Not Kenny. No. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Nope. 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 I'm scared. I'm scared. Nope. If Kenny gets killed, Kenny? I'm gonna be so upset. Kenny. You okay, man? What's wrong? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. It's a little kid. It's like the family... The family got infected and they all went upstairs? How does that make sense? That doesn't make sense. Kind of looks like Duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. Well, I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? Yeah, I got it. I guess we'll find out. Do you have anything that I can, like, hit him upside the head? Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. This could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. Aww. I don't want to make any noises. So, I really hate to. Um. Whoops. Please don't be bad. Like, I'm sorry. We're good. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. I'm sorry, I would make sure. I'd be scared to, to, to touch, you know. Don't let Clementine see him. She's already seen too much. I wonder if there's like something like terrible is going to happen. Yeah, honestly. Is no one going out here with Lee to be like to be with him? Bunch of jerks. No one is going out here with Lee. Yeah, I mean...
<laughs> that is funny. I thought I would have to, uh, you know, like, um, put the, put the dirt back. I thought I would. Why is no one being out here with Lee? To be with him while he's doing this. Why is it just him? It's sad. This is sad. Oh, Clementine! Clem, no. Why aren't you watching her? That is sad. I was expecting something to just like, boom, right there, you know? Someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough There's look. There's a man, I saw. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. What up? Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. You mean me, because I was the only one out here. I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. Mm -hmm. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I don't know if it's safe to leave just yet. Why the hell not? Walkers look to have cleared out. That's not all I'm worried about. Yeah. So you'd rather just hunker down here and just let whoever's out there keep us boxed in? Wait for them to starve us out? True. No thanks. I hate to say it, but Kenny's right. Omid's not in great shape to move, but we can't do anything for him here. Without meds or a doctor, he's only gonna get worse. All right, all right. I'll head to the river with Kenny to scope out a boat while you get Omid ready to move. What about me? You'll stay here with the group. You'll only slow us down. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Stay here and help. Oh, she can't even come. Clem, honey. I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it, it's Aww. just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Aww. Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. I love... So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Yeah. You've done nothing but... I mean... Oh, wait. I'm worried about Omid. He's in bad shape. I need you to stay here. Keep an eye on him. He's got Krista for that. If it comes down to it, I can't rely on Krista to do what has to be done. Not with Clementine in the same house. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You can count on me. Good. Good. Well, I mean, she is like seven or, you know, like eight or nine. Ben, on the other hand, is 17 or 18, and he just left her there. He could have easily grabbed her and ran, but he didn't. He just, he, he just ran. And he said that he, he quote unquote froze. No, freezing means exactly what it means. You don't move. But no, he, he just, he just booked it. 
Um, but, yeah, I don't, I do not like Ben. I mean, he's done, he's done nothing but hurt the group ever since he got here. Yeah, I mean, he, I mean, the one person has to be the calm, cool, and, you know, uh, collected. You think one of the group safe gets his lead. Safe as anyone can be these days, I guess. I just hate leaving Clementine alone. As if walkers weren't bad enough, now we got this crazy motherfucker on the radio stalking us. Won't be a problem once we get out on the water. River's just a few blocks up ahead. Oh no. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. Hear about that? What in the hell is Will going on? Will you shut on? up? And ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Yeah. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think he said it when they when they met. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're Oh, come on. Oh my no. god. No! No boats? There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. <laughs> Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Hey! Oh, screw you! I ain't giving up that easy. Dude. You can tell there are no boats in the water. You don't need to go up there to look at it. This one might still be salvageable. Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? <laughs> I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. Oh. See what you can find. Okay. Uh, I don't want to. What are you gonna do? Just stare at the boat and be like, oh look, a boat. Did that arm just move? I knew it. Oh, fuck. What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? Or do something like this. The guy stalking us comes to mind. I can't shoot here, it'll, it'll attract attention. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Damn. Built solid. What do I do? So I, I need a quarter. Do I shoot one and then see if they have a quarter? What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? That is weird. 
Ooh, that 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 has to have a quarter. Right? Hello, beautiful. Oh, come on. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Oh, maybe maybe this has it? To be honest, yeah. But hey, in situations where it would be bad, no. Like right now, if I were to shoot these people, it would attract attention. Well, like I don't, I don't know. It didn't even dawn on me to check a newspaper stand thingy. I don't know what it's called. Fuck. What? What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Holes crack beneath the water line or someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the? What the hell is that? Seems to A fate worse than death. Uh Pre Princess, hey, glad you came into the stream. Ooh, building. Abandoned. Every other place in the city. How can you tell just by looking at it like that? Okay, anything over here. Ooh. No sign of any boots down there. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Uh, I am good. I am tired, but how are you? I'm not seeing anything. Plenty of docks, no boats. This is all. Oh, wait, this is. That has to be. A... That has to be a boat, right? Oh, it's sunken. No way that one salvaged. Oh dang it! Okay. Um. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. I can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. This... nothing? Huh? What the... the hell? What the heck? Hey! What are you doing? Hey! He has an axe, he's like... Get down, get down! What the heck? Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side and cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Idiots. Crawford. What? Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? 
And now you come? Kenny, no, it's not our guy. You idiots. No, he's with us. You kidding me? Who the hell are you people? I asked you first. Yeah. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. I'm not looking for any trouble. Hi. <laughs> Aww. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? What are you talking about? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? Yeah. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Clementine. Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Oh. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. While the rest of the world went to shit around them. Wow. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah, anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. Oh my god. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Wow. been ringing those bells all over town yeah that would be me what i knew it lee i knew she was the one who'd been following us fucking with us get that finger out of my face grandpa before i jam it straight up your ass i haven't been following you i don't even know who the hell you people are calm down kenny the voice on the radio was a guy remember yeah well whoever you are ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed raise the dead all around us that's the idea genius it's how i get around i ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out that is actually smart is that what you call them yeah you know like at the carnival they'll eat anything alive or dead that's pretty smart the bells. yeah doesn't take much to outsmart the dead Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Mm. Well... Look, I'm sorry we you. Just wanna get her back home. We're not going anywhere until I find us a goddamn boat. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Right. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Yeah. Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Uh-oh. Great. Shot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... 
Is there another way out of here? Don't know, don't care. So what the hell are we supposed to do? I refer you to my previous answer. But you have to help us, please! Make it fast. This is something she didn't. Come on, hurry. Oh, I'm gonna die here. Come on. One good jump. What? No. Come on top of the dumpster. Oh no! Come on, Lee! Get your ass out of there! I'm going to the sewers? Here, use that to pry it open. I feel like they would all be here by now. Going to the sewers. I don't want to go to the sewers. I really don't. Down by the river. She did. Clementine, can you hear me? Don't yell. If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Are you kidding me? Shit. Mmm, I really don't want to be down here. But if we're dying... Hey, I think I've only died, like, once in this game. No, wait. No, wait, yeah, I did. Just once, and I'm already on episode four. So, I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing a lot, a lot better than I thought I would. Why are you walking like that? Oh, come on! But it's really gonna stink now. You know, like you can't get showers now. He's really gonna stink now. I hear stuff. Oh no. Why is it like starting to like, like the thing is starting to shake? What's that noise? Uh oh. Good thing I'm out here. Out of there. Seems loose. Too. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Okay, so what do I do here? I can't. I can't do anything. I made some chocolate chip muffins. They're really good. Good thing I'm out here and not in there. Mm, seems loose. Shit. 
No, leave me too. Won't go anymore in that direction. What's with the weird music? You can just shoot it. <laughs> I didn't see that comment. I'm sorry. I didn't see that. That was funny. Don't turn anymore in that direction. Okay, then I go back in here and wait, right? Does that make sense? Follow the leader! You win! Congratulations! Who's that at the end here? <gasps> oh my god. It's the, it's the old guy. He must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. Dude, why are you walking so slow with his bucket? <gasps> no, get off. I'm gonna try to draw all those things to me. No way I can pick that up on my own. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to pry these bars with this. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Can I like jump up and like grab it? Hey, that moves. What with the music? No. They're still there, which is good. Don't cut yourself on that. Fallout shelter? What? The hell? Right? Like, it was weird. Like, it, like it actually... Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Me. <gasps> oh, the food! Look! Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Yeah, I would take some. Do I not look around? Okay, game. Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. 
I think you better start talking. Came here with a small group hoping to find a boat. I just want to get out of here. How about you just let me go? Ain't no boats around here. Crawford took everything. Yeah, I heard. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, no. Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Oh. Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the no. risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, <laughs> or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No, I'm really not. Well, uh, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. Mm. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up uh -huh. five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. Wow. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down mm -hmm. here? Well... A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Hey. Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? Yeah. She's probably already wondering where I am. Well, we can't have that, can we? Burn, what the hell are you Come doing? On. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. Oh, thank you. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go see about your daughter. Yay. That's awesome. Why is it all, like, choppy? Why is it all choppy? That, that's just weird. <laughs> Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? Where's Clementine? She's around here somewhere. Relax. I got her and Kenny both back safely. You're welcome, by Thank the way. Thank you. I think you have something that belongs to me. Thank you. It was very helpful. Is yeah. Lee, thank God you're back. What's wrong? Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. 
I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Thank you. Where's Clementine? Oh, Mead, honey. You're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. Now, why don't you go find your little girl? He dies. He becomes a walker. Clementine. Clementine? Where is she? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Wait, what was that? Did she go out trying to find her? Clem's drawings, but where is she? Did she go out trying to find her parents? I thought this was like a little, like a, okay. Where is she? Clementine, you here? Clem? Why are we gonna close the door? Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Fair point. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? She does. Completely. Okay, downstairs, so... Just head back downstairs. But... Uh, I gotta find her. I have a feeling that, like, something bad is happening. Clem? Clementine? Clementine! No! Come out! Please! No wonder she has no proof. <laughs> That's funny. Kenny? Oh, hey, you made oh, no. it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. First good thing that's happened since. Kenny, come on, give me that. Kenny, give me the damn bottle. Get the fuck away from me. Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. No, it's not. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us. That crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? <laughs> Why don't you go back on the train? And like, you know, back up and go back to where you went, no? Have either of you seen Clementine? Oh, you're no help. Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, how did Clementine sneak out of the house? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Be there. Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. She went off. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be, or it's your ass. No, but they came in through the backyard. Yeah, it's like Ben, you had one job here. Clementine? Clementine! Oh no. Where is she? Clem, where are you? Don't 
house covered in mud. Don't think anyone came in through there. Where is she? Oh, I should have grabbed the shovel. He's too drunk, just... I mean, I can't blame him, but... I mean, got a point. Got a point. Oh, okay. Okay, what about Omid? doing okay as well as can be expected under the circumstances i did what i could for him cleaned out the wound but he's got a real infection running a fever without antibiotics I... will you quit pacing you're making everyone nervous why are you even still here Good point hey if your friend really can get that boat working you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses i figure that's fair enough don't Good you that point yeah well you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, bad news first. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Good. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. We could- What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Why don't some of us go? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that <laughs> runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Justin, Ben. <laughs> Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. I love yeah, it. Actually. I love it. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what Sure, let's do it. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could, could work. We can do I've it. thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have yeah. to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? He did. Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. Yeah? That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? 
We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. Aww. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? She heard. Crawford. She heard. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? Obviously, some people are going to be staying here. I don't want anyone else to die. Aww. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. Yeah. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Can't I come with you? Do I say yes or no? Because I don't know who was staying here and who is going. So if someone here is like bad and you said you're supposed to be honest with each other. <laughs> so put your vote, everybody vote. Who, everybody say yes if you think she should go with us and no if you think she should stay here. But see, my problem is that I don't know who was staying and I keep going back to Ben, not grabbing her when he ran away. So I'm like, if someone who is staying here with Omid, if someone who is staying here isn't gonna be thinking about Clementine's safety as well, then, you know, I just, I just, have, a bad, I just have a bad feeling about it. And with Krista possibly being pregnant, I highly doubt she's going to be doing... I, that, that is just me saying that, that she is pregnant. I don't know. I don't know. It's just a feeling. So, guys, what do you think? Should I say yes to her of her going or no to her going? I don't know what I... I don't... I don't know... I think I'm gonna have her go. Someone's telling me to check to, you know, bring her. Okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Aww. I mean, she's somewhat safer with him than she is being in this house. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? Yes. What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people, even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Marlon. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. No. Look, I'm just saying. 
If we want the best chance of... Are you kidding? Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I, I, I guess not. I would think Ben. And what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. I like Molly more than I like Ben. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find no. her... I'm not leaving her alone in the house with only Omi to protect her. It's just not oh. happening. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. So it was just gonna be no, I'm glad she's going. Then she is definitely safer here. Like going with us. Cause at least a couple people would die trying to save her. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school <laughs> should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need. And we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. I'm ready. Let's do it. Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me too. Totally. Let's go. Me too. Totally. Is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. You think it's a it's a full okay. person? Me and Kenny will sneak up, trying to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind what? you. What? Why? Why? Why do you have a sniper? You make no sense, Kenny. No sense. What the fuck? <laughs> Everybody's gone. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside! Fast. No, if people died just from like natural causes or something, or like somebody could slip down a flight of stairs and die. You know, so they said that the um, thing is inside, that the virus inside is inside all of us. So, inside of all of us, I didn't point to me. It's, it's inside all of them. So, it only stands to reason. Right? Fuck. Do you think they saw us? I don't think so. I think we're good. For now, at least. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh, man, we are so screwed. Ben, shut up. No, this is good. What? How the fuck is this good? Before, everyone at Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb and they don't. Hey, trying to look on the bright side here. Good point. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? <laughs> or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? You got a point. This is the first time that I actually agree with her. Come on, I think I know which way to head. You think? You said you're, the whole reason you're here is because you know where to go. I got a bad feeling about this. So do I, Ben. But shut up. Why is there an X on the door? <laughs> ben Solo.
Just keep moving. Got a bad feeling Here. about this. Looks okay. Everybody in. Oh, thank you. I totally forgot about that. in this room is some kind of command center yeah okay so now what where do we start looking here where just give me a sec what you have to think about what so confused Best place to look for medicine. Right here, nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. Okay. How do you know that? Uh -oh. Just makes sense, doesn't it? She lived here. She lived here and she didn't like it. Any idea where we could find a battery? Uh, maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? Everybody quiet down a little bit. There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. Yay! I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. I don't like this at all. Please tell me you're not leaving Clem with Ben, please. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with no! Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it. Uh-huh. I wouldn't. Honestly. I just wouldn't, personally. I'm not after everything that went on. So all I have is a gun for protection. I don't have any sort of like other hand-to-hand -hand combat. Nothing like no, nothing at all. The alleyway to the auto shops down Shut here. Shut up! You coming or not? They've already been fired. They're worthless. Where'd you go? Dang it, I'm taking a guess you went this way. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. <laughs> but where the hell is Molly? Is that a, isn't that a movie? I've never seen it. I've, I've heard of stuff about it, but I've never seen it or anything. Molly, you out here? You shut up, Lee! So I'm not going that way. Oh. Nothing in here. Her. 
environment. This is the place I'm looking for. Okay, how do I get in there? I hear stuff. Auto shop must be down this way. Okay, but how do I get in there? I've heard a lot about Dead Space, and I've seen some of it, just like from like people playing it and stuff. Um, so I think it's all on the uh, Xbox Game Pass. That would hurt. Where's Molly? They're not making the <laughs> It's jammed tight. Dang it, come on. Please. Better not get too close. Let's see. <laughs> Leave him. He's mine. Where the hell have you what been? The... What? What? Molly. <laughs> Molly. What? I think you got it. One more. What the heck? He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. You can a little bit. Not a problem. Look what I found. And oh, yeah. you put that in That'll your bag? Uh-oh. How? How? Go, go, go! They're coming! Close it! Why would you guys close it? I would close it. Well, no, if it's your only... Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Thank you. I can't reach it up there. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Didn't I just see a boat? Controls the hydraulic lift over there. So then, what do I do? More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. It's locked. No way in. It looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. 
Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Wait, her, um, axe. I mean, I could use it. Something you need? Think I can borrow that, uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I mean, you did give it to me one other time. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Okay, so then that means I should be able to... I did it. That'd be terrible. Whoa, whoa. That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. Still attached to the terminals. Don't know what I'm doing. Still attached to the terminals. It's off. Oh. Got that one off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. Go, go. Your plan is to what now? Great, now what? Skylight. It's shut. Shoot it out. Just run, get out of there. Okay, so now we're on the roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Do you think I'm gonna be able to make that? Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. Uh, yes, I could die. What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Yes. That was a little bit scary. Something happened, I can tell, I can feel it. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? You have the battery! Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! Damn it, what the hell is she doing? What the heck? Can't open it without the combination. Oh, hey guys. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. You guys still haven't gotten in there? You're just staring at the door. Okay, then head back over here. Little help! Little help here! What? Go, go, go! The doors won't close all the way! Please do something! We got it. Break the door with something! Close, close! We got the fuel. Yes. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. What's the hand with these fuel cans? They weigh a goddamn ton. How did you guys get away from a bunch of walkers? 
I mean, hopefully. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. What should I do? What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Hmm. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. Oh, great. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose uh -huh. it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. Right? What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I've seen, you'd feel the same. Hey, I've seen some stuff. <laughs> I'll be back. Got some things to do. Good luck. Okay, I'm gonna go out here and see if I can help him with the nurse's station. And of course, the music turns all creepy. hallway after we got inside i think they must have heard us rooting around in here the whole place is infested they're everywhere mm -hmm. calm down i took care of them what about the meds did we find what we need yeah that's our other problem 
Take a look. What? Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Dang it. Maybe we should try looking somewhere else for medicine. In Crawford? This place is too overrun. No, that safe is our best chance. Yeah, it'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Are you kidding me? Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Tape? That's odd. What is this? Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Didn't we just see them put in the combination? Damn it! We almost had it! What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. What? I can't go back out there. I've never done like backtracking in in this game before. Ever. Where do I go? Yeah, I've never heard of backtracking in this game before. <laughs> really don't want to. TV. God bless it. It's gonna break. Oh, I thought it was gonna break. There he is. <laughs> that was funny. Another tape. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Give me a computer? Oh. 
here. Time to go. Please put me back. Thank you. How did he get up there, though? How did he go back the same way he came? That is weird. Yeah, it wasn't. I found another tape. Okay. This one's dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. I have a feeling it's Molly. Have you made a decision? Oh, no, I was wrong. I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. I was not expecting that. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell I'm out of here. I'm telling you, she, she is pregnant. We're in business. Yay! Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. What? Don't take too long. I apparently can't go. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. Um... Must have been from when that woman stabbed the doctor. Nothing in here, I guess. Uh, already cleaned out. Vernon and Krista already took everything we need. No tape inside. Hmm. Then what do I do? Phones probably haven't worked in months. No! I didn't mean for that to happen. Have you made a dis- No, sorry, can I like- Decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Sorry. Well, technically you do. I didn't think you I could- terminate the pregnancy- I could click it again. Or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are no, we even trying to survive? I clicked to all the buttons, living, nothing. If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. That's dumb. Me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. The, her killing him is what no. set the no. outbreak for the city. No.
There was no point in me staying behind. <laughs> no, thank you. Molly! Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. But you're very mad. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. Sure there's nothing you want to tell me? Yeah, I'm sure. Are we done? What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. What? What was that? Sorry, I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. You uh, idiot! Ben, where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. No! <laughs> Holy crud. I couldn't. I, I didn't. Thanks. It wasn't me. I'm going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. Way to go, Clementine. Go. What the fuck go. is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault. All my fault. So true. What the hell is he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. No. What do you mean this is all your no. fault? No. Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry now. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck. No, no, no. Kid, enough! Calm down, man! You little piss ant! You're fucking dead! You hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got a both fucking killed! Kenny, I said calm the fuck down! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later, after we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's right? gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I couldn't, I couldn't say anything. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a second? <laughs> Can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on. Oh my 
god! So much for the armory. What's left of it? The bell tower? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Close it. Close it. Close it. Close it. Close it. Fuck! It's not going to hold. Back upstairs. We're all going to die. All going to die. Lee, look. We're all going to die. Use the left stick to get away. Oh, shoot! Help, somebody! Nice job, thank you. Go! Oh, 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 oh. Almost in crooked. anything I could do. They were right there. They probably would have gotten him. With me pulling him up, they probably would have, like, went on him. You know? So, I think he was supposed to die there either way. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! He's dead. Shoot him. Shoot him. Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. Uh, hey. Back already? What? what? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. 
Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Oh no. Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. She's like nine. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. I mean, it was at the belt. I mean, it was at the bell tower Maybe or whatever. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Why? Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Please save your sympathy for someone who's buying it. What? What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for Excuse others. Excuse me? Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen. Oh, no, you listen. You got some good people here and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you the kind of leader you are. They're not gonna make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is going to solve anything. It wasn't my idea. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm going to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden. And a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you. I promise no. you. That's what you want for her, isn't no. it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. Are you just another one of your lies? That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off. Me. What are you gonna do? Oh my gosh. Aww. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you doing? What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. Thumbs up. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen... I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me. Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too. What Molly. happened? That's odd. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Clem. Hey, sweet pea. Oh. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I have no idea. Someplace else. 
Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? He's very smart. Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Aww. Well, she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. I'm gonna try to, like, tell her the truth about everything. <laughs> Don't leave! Don't leave! Don't be a jerk! You idiot! Okay, he's saying that that makes me feel better. That is sad. <sighs> Clementine? <sighs> uh oh, where'd everybody go? Did everybody leave me? Clementine? The walkie talkie. She took the walkie-talkie in search of her parents. Where'd everybody go? Why did everybody leave? Clementine? Clementine! Her hat. God. Oh no. What is going on? <laughs> Was he bitten? No, he, he wouldn't be that calm about it. safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going he on? He took her. Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. He took and her. who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. 
<laughs> Damn right. <laughs> we can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. God, like, I couldn't. If that happened to me, I couldn't fathom that. I couldn't fathom. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on Thank me. Thank you. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Are we going now? I would... I couldn't fathom that if I- if I got bitten like that. Is that true? They left. All the food's gone. Completed episode 4. Okay, so this is the end. They- they took Clementine and like, left. Oh my god. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. They took- Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! No. I feel like Lee shouldn't have a gun. What is that? Oh my god. What happened? Why is everybody surrounding us? Clementine, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Where have you taken her? Oh no. No time left. The boy in the attic. I completely forgot about that. Did you kill the boy in the attic? You and 73% of players killed him. Did you lie to or threaten Vernon? You and 42% of players threatened or lied to him. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? You and 47% of uh, players brought her. Did you let Ben fall to his death? You and 54% of players let him go. Did you reveal your bite to the group? You and 80% of players showed the bite. Okay, yeah, so overwhelming majority. Who came with you? What? Wait, so it can end up being... Wow, look at this! So... The highest number is 18, and it's just Lee and Kenny. So 6%, how did somebody get everybody killed? 16%, Everybody was there. Wow. It's not gonna show me a next time on The Walking Dead. No! That is... No. That is dumb. I want...
wanted it to show me. Oh no. No. Now I gotta wait till next Wednesday to find out what happens. I can't wait that long. Oh, are you kidding me? Dang it. I really wanna know what happened. Dread episode of five as well, Christy. Um, uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna be playing episode five, the last episode of of this, of like, season one. Um, uh, uh, next Wednesday at eight p.m. Eastern time. Wow. But, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that that, that happened. Is there something? I don't think there's anything at the end, right? I mean, I would assume not. I mean, it makes sense. But we're gonna know in a second, I think this is the end. Is it gonna show anything? Probably not. Dang you, game! No! No! You stupid! Ugh. Okay, everybody, thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you all will be able to join me next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time when I play episode 5. Um, I'm very, like, like you said, Chrissy, I'm dreading it a lot. Um, and I will be starting... God of War, Ragnarok, um, Saturday at 8.30. It is going to be at 8.30. Um, so, uh, Chrissy, you are so welcome on the stream. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, and I will be continuing the Alan Wake game Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Hope you all can join me. I hope you all enjoyed the stream. It sounds fun by me. See you next game. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Hope you all have a good night.